Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me again. I'm Rinske Dauna and this is my art channel. Today is a special video because I'm collaborating with Olga and with Molly. And we collaborated before, but then we created a big course, an acrylic A to Z course. If you have not seen this course, then definitely go check it out if you want to learn more and have all information packed together and created by us three. We have now a sale of $20 off until the end of this year. So if you're interested, go check it out right now. We are so proud of this course, by the way, and we have an amazing community, Facebook community, Facebook group, and I can tell you more is coming up. But today the collaboration is all about life in color. So we're calling it life in fluid color because we're fluid artists and we're gonna create fluid artworks. Molly shot a couple of photos when she was on holiday and these were so beautiful, vibrant and life in color. So she picked out this one and of course the flamingo here is very prominent. So the idea is here that we would create something inspired by this picture, life in fluid color. But let's add something new in the mix. I will be using more Olga's style in fluid art techniques and see how this will look, of course. I'm very excited. Gonna be very new for myself as well. And also this color palette is definitely new. So let's get started here. All right, guys, this is gonna be such a different painting. I will be using different techniques to create this flamingo painting. I have here pink and orange colors and I will be creating a base first. So normally I just make a base that is uh, a blank color, so white or an orange or a purple or whatever. But this time I will be pouring it already with a funnel. I'm using a funnel, Olga. <laughs> This is the first time I just found it in the studio and I thought, yeah, I need to do this. Uh, this is going to be different, so let's start creating a funnel pour base here. So let's put it here in the middle and start adding a very light orange color. A deep orange, a pink, just some different shades of orange and pink. A little bit of Van Dyck brown as well. And let's make a ripple funnel pour here. And I will be spinning this out as well. It's on my spin table. Well, I really like this effect of the ripples here. There's a big air bubble in the middle, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm loving this. Uh, this color palette as a background. Let's pop these air bubbles. I think I will spin this just a little bit more because I would like a more softer background design and I would like some uh, darker colors in the middle with a dip. So you will <laughs> be seeing that later how I will do that. Well, if you know me, then you probably know I might want to stop here already because I love minimal, soft and sweet designs. Yeah, I think this is a perfect base. So I will be pouring here a lot of different colors, also some um, green and a little bit of blue that I took out of the picture. 
because I would like to create a lot of more contrast. I'm just pouring here in a sort of flower design really. It's fun to play around just a little bit with pouring. Just some white for some more contrast in the middle. And then here's some of the blue. Just a couple of drops. And some phthalo green. And of course a green and orange are complementary colors, but I think it will work perfectly in this color palette. So let's just create more of a flower design in this because I want it to be pretty, right? And then I will use a paper towel to dip on this like Fiona does. Let's just put it in the middle. And I know I will have a square design of the paper towel after this. But that's okay, I'm gonna spin it. So let's tilt this up. Uh, I'm not liking the colors underneath there. Let's twist it and yeah, pull it up. Alright, so this is not looking like I imagined at all. But luckily this canvas is on a spinning table and we can spin it out. And I would definitely want to keep the background that I did with the funnel pour. So let's start spinning and uh, hope this will work out. So here we go. All right, I'm definitely <laughs> having the, the background here, but how is this design looking? I'm seeing a sort of swan design in this. So I'm not really liking the brown on the sides, so I'm using my soft peachy color. And I will just swipe a little bit around the sides to just create more of a negative space look after all. But I'm really liking all the details that are in this piece. And if you look from the right angle, you definitely see a bird. So let's just spin it a little bit slower. Look at this. Look at this right now. Like this. I'm definitely seeing a swan, a bird design in this. Are you with me, guys? It's not a flamingo, but it has the flamingo colors. I think this is beautiful the way it is. And I will be scared to uh, spin it out a bit more and do more on the background. I think it's perfect right now. So, so different and just a fun way to pour again. And not using my blow dryer. I can't believe I did not use a blow dryer for this painting. So let's go to a close up here. 
See all these designs. I'm really loving here the Van Dyke brown and that I use the Fatalo green. And in the middle, just a little bit of beautiful green. Yeah, I think it's, it's beautiful. Look at the swan. What bird do you see? Or do you see the flamingo? <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun for me to pour. Please go check out Molly's video and Olga's video. I can't wait to see what they have created for this collaboration. And I'll see you next time.